guys, the Property Lane Brothers team is back here in District 8 in the Ferro Park vicinity. We are in one of the rare freehold plots of land right next to the MRT station. We're heading up to a super high floor, three bedroom unit standing at 1195 square feet. With close proximity to the CBD area, established amenities and excellent connectivity, there's definitely something for everyone. I'm Bungkwan. Huh? I'm Bungkwan. Huh? I'm Bungkwan. I'm Michaela. Let's, without further ado, let's go check it out. Let's go! City Square Residences, a really popular freehold project right next to the MRT station, something that's very rare to come by. Now this development was done by CDL. The unit mix here consists of the one bedroom type units all the way to the four bedroom type units and they are spread across six towers, across 28 to 30 storeys. Now for the three bedroom units, there are a total of 425, which makes up almost half of the unit mix here, which gives us a really good sense of what the developer was going for, making this a very family-oriented condo. So today we are in the three bedroom bedroom type unit here, 1195 square feet. We have three bedrooms, two bathrooms, a wash closet and even a yard towards the back. I think you're already getting a good glimpse of what's behind me which is this beautiful unblocked view of the city ahead of us. So one of the reasons why people love city square residences so much is because of its strong connectivity considering that we're in the fringe of the core central region as well as the rest of the central region. Today we are in District 8 towards the Ferro Park vicinity. So right beside us is City Square Mall which gives us direct access to Ferro Park MRT Station. Next stop from there it's Little India MRT Station and one stop away from there is Dobie Got MRT Station. From Little India we're just one stop to Bugis MRT station. Now for those of us getting around by car, we are just about an 8 minutes drive to the nearest PIE exit, 10 minutes to the ECP, 10 minutes to the CTE and getting by to the CBD is also very convenient because we're just about a 15 minutes drive away. So let's start here in the living room area. is quite a really lovely size here. You have a good distance between your couch and your TV and you have really nice tall windows that allow you to appreciate this view. This is the northeast facing so you only get the morning sun coming in. So let's move over to this side where you can see that the owner has done up this panel here. Likely to give them more privacy and it also acts as extra storage should they wish to add more stuff. Coming towards the foyer area, you will see that you have your shoe racks here as well as the DV box which you can also double up as more storage should you wish to. And because we have such a nice generous size foyer here, if you like this, is a great space for you to do up a shoe rack or shoe cabinet. And that transits you very seamlessly towards your dining area. I think you'll agree with me that the dining area here is really comfortable in terms of size. Right now, this is a six-seater, but you can definitely upgrade it to maybe a ten-seater. With so much space to explore in this dining room area, if you like, you can even consider doing a little utility room here with the extra space over on this side. What I love about City Square Residences is that they have accounted for an enclosed kitchen. These sliding doors help you to keep the fumes out when you're doing your heavy cooking. I love this kitchen size. It is so comfortable. The kitchen cook a hood and pop has already been done up. You have a really generous size fridge that you can place over to the other end. I think with this size alone, if you're taking over to do your renovation, there are a lot of things that you can explore. For example, if you want, you can always change the doors again, though I love the concept of how it is right now where you can close it up. And then just redo up this whole entire space. It's a really good size. You can put a kitchen counter island if you like instead. And another great thing about the development here in City Square Residences is that they also come with a yard, utility and a wash closet towards the bed. So since we're here, let's talk a little bit about the floor plan differences in City Square Residences. So if we compare 
are the regular layout type of the three bedroom units. You have the 1195 square feet all the way to the 1238 square feet type units. For the 1238 square feet, the largest of them all, uh, the difference in terms of the layout is that they have their living room, bedroom, master bedroom, and then common bedroom towards the other side, more like in a dumbbell fashion or an L shaped fashion. And for the 1195 square feet and the 1216 square feet, the layout type is similar with the bedrooms all side by side. All the bedrooms get to enjoy the same beautiful view that they get to appreciate from the living room. And the only difference between this 1195 square feet and the 1216 square feet is the addition of the latch in the master bedroom. Current setup for this home is that they have used this as the washer dryer area. So if you want, you can always stack a washer dryer on top. They have also installed this retractable rack above us. And right beside me, you have the utility room. So now let's check out the common bedrooms. I'll pass the time over to Bungwa to share more with you. Now let's check out our first common bedroom. You can see that the owners have installed a nice cabinet tree that goes flush and matches very well with the super single bed and the study table. Cupboards have also been installed for you to keep your books and stationeries. We have ample storage space at the back for you to keep your luggages and bulky items. Towards the front, we have also seen that there's a cupboard for you to keep all your clothes and your daily essentials. Let's check out what are some of the views that three bedroom units get to enjoy at City Square Residences. We have the inner stack units that are facing towards the pool located over here. For outward facing units that are facing towards Jalan Pensar area, our unit which is located at Block 8 gets to enjoy a beautiful view towards the Serangoon Bunking area. Our windows are also facing towards the northeast direction, that means you only get partial sun during the day. And now let's check out our second common bedroom. You can see that the design and the layout is almost similar but with a different theme. We have a textured wallpaper, cabinetries have also been built in, with a super single bed, study table and of course bookshelf for you to keep all your stationery and items. Behind here, there's this beautiful ledge too. So coming to our first common bathroom, we have, you can see that the owners have reinstalled a nice glass filter to prevent water from coming out when you take a nice shower. A window behind that can dispel the moisture and prevent any accumulation of water in the area. A sliding door that actually helps to save from space. A conventional door that requires you to be opened out. Now let's check out the financial analysis of City Square Residences before we explore the master bedroom. With an asking price of 2.5 million, buyers are able to apply for a maximum of 75% loan quantum with a maximum 30 years loan tenure. This works out to a maximum loan amount of $1.875 million. With current interest rate of 2%, monthly payment of approximately $6,930. Assuming spending an additional fifty to 100000 on renovation, bring the total price to $2.4 or $2.5 million respectively, it will still bring the total unit to less than 2001 PSF. Now let's move on to the pricing analysis. Let's compare against large developments and also satisfy the requirement of being one kilometer from an MRT station. City Lights a 99 year leasehold project with a lease starting from 2004. The three bedroom units asking from between 2.49 mil to 2.75 mil, ranging from 1,313 square feet to 1,420 square feet. Another similar project is South Bank, another 99 year leasehold project asking for 2.6 mil. Moving closer to the fair vicinity, let's compare again newer launches that has been coming up in recent times. The second latest to launch is Uptown at Fairwood, which is now fully sold. The transacted price per square feet size at around 1,001 square feet is between 1,940 to 1,970 PSF. When the seller stamp duty is over, we are looking at a resale PSF of between 2,100 to 2,200. Comparing against Piccadilly Grand, the newest launch in the Farrell district, selling close to 77% of its units during its initial launch phase, the first 1,066 square feet unit has started transacting at 1,907 PSF, while the rest of the three bedroom units, 1,076 square feet to 1,098 square feet, is transacting at between 1,971 to 2,191 PSF. Just a quick recap for our freehold three beta units at City Square Residences is with an asking price of 2.5 mil and a floor area of 1195 square feet. This actually translates to a PSF of close to 2,092, an extremely competitive price as compared to our new launch counterparts.
coming into the master bedroom, we can see that there's a built-in wardrobe, a nice TV console with built-in cabinetries. The size of the room is just fantastic. It's big enough to fit a king-size bed. In fact, we can also see that this view is what you get in the living room. Coming into the master bathroom, very nice size bathroom, privacy filters, and big enough to even put up a full-size bathtub. Standing shower has also been installed. Before we end our home tour, let's check out what are some of the major news announcements that will bring about rejuvenation to the Farrah Park and Little India area. Alright, so talking about the rejuvenation here, as you know, the Piccadilly Grand saw so much hype. Firstly, one of the reasons is because there's the Fairfield Park right behind. Now, prior to the Piccadilly launch, there was news of that plot turning into a BTO site with over 1,600 BTOs that will be injected into that area. Now, we think that that will likely fall into the PLH model and taking reference into something closer to our region, which is River Peaks 1 and 2. That also means that we also have a larger pool of HDB upgraders within the region. And not only that, it also also means that we have more amenities and activities around the area with more family-friendly spaces as well as parks in the region. The facilities here also include things like your tennis court, your bowling alley, play areas for the kids and your 50 meter lap pool, not forgetting your gymnasium as well. Now if we need more activities outside of the condo, we have City Square Mall just right beside us. And for our primary school going kids within our one kilometer radius, we do have Fair Park Primary School. of this home tour today in City Square Residences, a three-bedroom unit, 1195 square feet. This is a freehold project, one of the rare ones that you can find right next to the MRT station. With so much rejuvenation happening around in the Farrah Park area, we think that residents of City Square Residences have multiple untapped potential. If you like our listing, do give our listing managers a call. Do also click like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We can be found on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Boon Khan. I'm Michaela. Property, Property Lean Brothers, Brothers, always, always happy, happy to show you the place. place. Now at Farrow Park MRT Station, that's where you get your northeast line, am I right? Correct! Yitiang, do you take the train? You don't take the train! Is it okay? You will say it's okay one. Yitiang always says it's okay. Yitiang always says it's okay. Okay, here my start. Oh, okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's compare against the... Like, like. I'm Boon Khan. I'm Michaela. Property Lean Brothers, always happy to show you the place.